Don't worry guys, I'm not going to tell you what each and every one of these presser feet does because frankly I don't use any of them. I bought this set for about $35 on AliExpress and I thought that I just might find at least one presser foot among all of these that will help me. And unfortunately, I didn't. But, you know, that's how it is in our business. You Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And uh, I did eventually, my, I found my presser foot. And I found it somewhere else. So let's take a look. Right, so guys, just a quick reminder, this is a series of videos where I am discussing the different aspects to creating this stitch on a leather on a Singer 4432 heavy duty machine. And each video, we're going to be looking at a different angle of how to do this, things that I learned along the way and I want to share with you guys. So back to this topic of presser feet. Well, the presser foot that I found came with this kit that I bought. And one of these presser feet is the goose that lays the golden eggs. And it's called a blind hem foot and this is the presser foot that I use for my stitches we can of course adjust the length of it we can make the spacing bigger and smaller I usually adjust it to about two millimeters something like that Maybe just a little bit more. Important to remember is that you always need to apply a little bit of pressure here to have the edge of the leather sitting tightly against this ridge. So you're, you're applying pressure all along while you are sliding this along. So guys, I'm going to try to do this sewing together with you and explain along the way what's going on. Let's go. So this is the straight part. We use the motor, we step on the gas, no problem. Let's continue. At this point we're going to stop because we have reached the turn and we're going to have to take this slowly as if we were in a car we reached a turn so we want to slow the car down and take the turn slowly so that we don't fly off the cliff. It's the same principle. Now I'm turning the hand wheel and I'm going to advance cautiously and a little bit more. I'm going to start making the turn right now. So I'm raising the presser foot. I'm going to turn a little bit the leather, lower the presser foot. and take
we have finished the turn and I engage the motor again. Okay, that's it.